Hey everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to uninstall the open broadcaster software, pretty much OBS. It's a software that's used pretty much for Twitch or YouTube or Mixer and other platforms that are used for streaming. And let's say you've had problems with OBS Studio or if you don't like this specific one, um, I'll just show you how to uninstall it. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So the first thing you do is pretty much just go to start and you can go to settings right here. Then from going to settings you can choose apps and then you'll just scroll down until you see OBS right here. And here's OBS Studio right here. You're going to choose that file that you don't need and just press uninstall. It's, and I'll tell you this app and its related info will be uninstalled. Go ahead and click that button and I'll probably come to this point for you and let it do its process. Now. Pretty much this point, you'll get to the same location on this by uninstalling it. But it seems that lots of people get this problem on Windows 10 where you come to apps and features right here underneath the settings and it doesn't want to show your apps. So in case you don't see it here, another option that you can go to is by going to the search bar and typing in control panel and open up the control panel, then choosing programs and programs and features and look for the file that you want to uninstall. Here's OBS again and I'm going to choose to uninstall and change and you'll probably be prompted like this if it does come up and then you'll choose the same settings that came up to the other one. Right here you have the option if you want to check the user settings too to be deleted. I'm going to go ahead and check it and just press uninstall and it says it's completed. So I'm going to go ahead and just open this one, this file called the programs and features because I don't need it anymore. It's still showing that the OBS studio is there but I do think that the file is gone so I'm going to go ahead and try and click it and see if the file is still there. It tells you it's gone so I'm going to go ahead and just press yes to delete it. And there we have it. It's still having the files but they're going to be gone. I think when you restart your computer it will probably be gone. But that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching from Houghton's Computer Repair and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video then hit that button but if you like it and you want to see more hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store link in the video description and for the rest I will see you on the next video.